Hey everybody, got a quick and easy mod for you today. Some of you might be doing this already, but I thought I would share it to let everyone in on the secret built into truck bed sidewalls. If you are rocking a tonneau cover, this mod is especially handy. Let's get started. When I installed a tonneau cover on my first truck, I would always have the problem of some of my groceries sliding into the back of my box. I then had to decide whether to crawl into the bed of my truck or take the time to roll the tonneau cover up. Even if I rolled up the cover, Groceries in the middle of the truck bed are still impossible to grab without climbing in. Sure, one solution would be to go easy on the bumps and not come into stop signs so fast, but we truck owners have places to go, man. So instead of being a more responsible driver, let's solve this problem by purchasing a piece of 2x6 pine framing lumber. You could probably get away with a 2x4, but you'll see later in the video where having a wider board will come in handy. I personally decided to pony up for a 2x6 in cedar, hoping that it will weather better, but even if it doesn't, my truck bed is going to smell amazing. One important thing to note with the 2019 Silverado is that you now have the DuraBed truck bed. For the new body style, they increased the truck bed's volume by 20%. One of the ways they did that was by increasing the sidewall depth by 10%. This means you're going to need a longer 2x6 than the older model Silverados. As you can see, even with a factory sprayed in bed liner, I still needed a board that was slightly over 6 feet. To get the most bang for my buck, I found a rack of 6 foot long 2x6s, then measured to make sure they were cut slightly oversized. The tag indicated that they could vary by up to an inch, so I saved myself a couple of bucks by not buying an 8 footer. For my truck with the factory sprayed in bed liner, I settled on a 72 and a quarter inch length. I made sure to chamfer the edges of the ends so things would slide into place better. As you can see, it's a pretty snug fit, but I do like how secure it feels. I am confident it would stay in place if I needed it there with the tailgate down. Another cool thing you can do with the DuraBed system is to place your 2x6 board up higher in a level position. I like it for a quick way to get my 2x6 out of the way of my bed floor without fighting to get the board out of its stamped grooves, but that stamped shape it rests on is actually designed for Chevy's two-tiered storage system where you can set up a couple of 2x6s and a sheet of plywood and have two different levels of storage. I can't say I was dying to get my hands on a truck with this feature, but now that I know it's an option, maybe it'll come in handy someday. Well there you have it, the best 5 bucks you'll ever spend. I'm sure some of you do this already, but hopefully I've let the rest of you in on this well-kept secret. As always, thanks again for watching another one of my videos. I have more in the works, so a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. I have videos coming for my Revolver X4 owner's review and a video about the new sidesteps I just pre-ordered. So subscribe to catch those videos. I'll see you there.